So um, she was pur- purposing to fast. Yeah. But I think by nine o'clock, she was quite hungry. Mm. And yeah, so she's like, oh, come on, I'm going to have tea. I'll, I'll fast until midday. Yeah. And then bananas showed up. We were blessed by, we were blessed by uh, Senga. Yeah. She sent a bunch of bananas, yeah. ripe bananas, and they were ready to eat. The next thing I knew, Malaika, who had gone out of the house, had come back in and not picked two bananas. <laughs> like, sweetheart, I thought we were fasting. She said, I'm hungry. <laughs> and she looked like she was about to die. Yeah. I told her, sweetheart, it won't kill you. Yeah. I think by that time, it was actually 10. Yeah. We first had the conversation at 8. I said, it's 10 o'clock right yeah. now. You have two hours to midday to break yeah. your fast. You can soldier on. You mm. can do this. And she left extremely upset with me. Yeah. But I'm hoping that when we go back <laughs> home, she will have a testimony of how she endured it. <laughs> so it would have been ironic for me to be telling her about endurance yeah. and pushing and trusting God to help mm. if I had given up. Mm. If I had given up. Now, I wasn't consciously thinking about That was a subconscious thought mm. because we ought to. Live by example. I, I love how you've put it succinctly. Yeah. Endurance. Endurance. And uh, <sighs> uh, as you were speaking, I was thinking about generational curses. Mm. <laughs> Why were you thinking about generational curses while I was speaking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's strange. Curious. And I, 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 